Hello everyone, this is a video review of Raphael with Storage Shell from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we have him, mint and sealed box, brand spanking new I may add. He is an unpunched card. This is his original artwork. See his weapons falling out of his shell. He is known as the Turtle Team with a crafty compartment. His quote, shove it in my shell. Here are his weapons. Ninja Stars, Boomerang, his trusty Psy, uh, Hatchet, his pizza, and a Blowfish Mace. Let's turn them around. Accessories close up. The back stuffing details of Raphael. Open Raph's back to stash all this secret sewer stuff. Manta Axe. Finally, an axe that can breathe underwater. Two Ninja Stars. In case you miss on the first throw. The Ninja Ring. The throwaway weapon that always comes back. The Blowfish Mace. Give him a face full of fish. The two sides. Raphael's weapons of choice. And the pizza disc. Because they don't come in squares. Here is his portrait. He doesn't have a favorite saying. Like Don does. I guess it's the shove it in my shell that's posted on the front. I don't know. Go fig. But... I have noticed upon reading this card that he is copyrighted 1991 Playmates Toys but on the figure itself is posted 1990 so I guess that was an error. There's a pizza point. I have also noticed when I was doing the Donatello with Story Shell uh, review that on the back of, of his box Scumbug's name is spelled wrong. It is Scumberg, but it's corrected here. Since this is a mint and seal box, brand spanking new, I will not open this guy. I'm going to set him back here. Because I have one fresh out of a brand new box. With my collections, I always buy two of everything because one mint and seal box and one to play with, just like a real collector. Yeah. So, this is my favorite Ninja Turtle, Raphael. Besides the bad attitude, he is brave, rash, and plus the figure stands tall and flat on his feet. Unlike his brothers, uh, Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo, either the left or right foot on them are at an angle, so you'll always have to like bend a, bend a leg pretty much to make them stand flat. But this guy, solid. All of his weapons <clears throat> will fit in the story shell, and I will teach you how to do it. Open his shell. First, you want to place the boomerang on the left hand side. Then you want to take the blowfish mace, turn it at an angle right there, put the pizza in sideways at an angle, and then the hatchet. And of course, the ninja star fits snugly in the peg. This turtle will keep everything tight within its shell. Another key factor to this uh, action figure. As you can see, nothing's rattling in there because everything in there is packed in tight. And I really, really enjoy that. He has two holes in the bottom of his feet so you can place them in every play set that has one or two pegs and he will not move. They did a very good job with this character. 
and I am very very happy with that and the actual compartment just in case you have any 1988 uh, action figure that comes with that dagger knife like Usagi Yojimbo or something like that you can put that dagger slash kunai in that compartment I like his color scheme he is the brightest of all his brethren uh, Donatello is like let's see a brown and a darkish green for <clears throat> Leonardo and Michelangelo is like a, a money green I'm not sure but yeah something like that but I am very sure about Donatello is brown because I just did a review so that's about it all of his weapons will fit in his hands but the blowfish mace will have to be placed in either hand at an angle because you have that bottom part that ribbon or something that keeps getting in the way of him gripping it same thing goes for his hatchet but his side also can fit well in his compartment that he has in the front of his belt in order to do that though you have to put his arms down like that and then slide him in because his biceps will always get in the way and then you can just flip his arm around move the side to the side and then there you have it or if you want him to be posed like this you can move his arm like so without putting stress on his side the Sai is not a traditional ninjutsu weapon it is from Okinawan Karate and the nunchucks for Michelangelo that's a Chinese weapon so the only thing that is pretty much close to ninjutsu is the bow and the katana but during you know that time period other weapons were being used like the kusari fundo and stuff like that and and during modern times like when I'll say when ninja started to become is extinct new weapons were added or something like that so I guess that's the reason why they have given this idea uh, go ahead but uh, yeah that is Raphael in a nutshell thank you for tuning in once again take care and goodbye